Hi guys, I'm Stu and welcome to another one of my videos. And in today's video we will be testing the mighty MG4 on a 70 mile an hour motorway range test. So let's kick things off by going through the route we're taking today and also the vehicle setup. So today's route takes us from Gloucestershire and we head down the southwest corridor past Bristol and Avonmouth and then down into Somerset towards Taunton which will be our turnaround point for today and over to the car setup for the route so to begin with we will have HVAC switched off so no air conditioning or heating as the weather has been quite mild and as we finish topping up the battery we also have the battery preconditioning on as well outdoor temperature is 11 degrees celsius or 52 degrees fahrenheit so let's go into the driving settings first and if you look at drive modes we're going to select custom today horsepower will be on eco mode Steering is on sport and pedal force is on normal, energy recovery on high and of course energy saving mode is activated. So into MG Pilot next and we shall be using cruise control today with a mix of both adaptive cruise control and traffic jam assist. I find traffic jam assist really good at keeping the car in the centre of the lane without the unpredictable movements you can get from lane assistance which is another option which we'll be switching off today. Then traffic sign recognition switched on and then front collision assist and unsteady driving warning switched on moderate sensitivity into convenience and all of these are the standard selections I'd pick for every journey we won't be using CarPlay or obviously air conditioning today then into lighting uh, we've got everything selected on here again this is my standard settings and uh, nothing under safety to look at so now we've finished setting up the car let's get under away and the first thing we noticed on the instrument panel is obviously we're at 201 miles 100% battery 11 degrees celsius 52 degrees fahrenheit tires are at the recommended manufacture inflation if you like this kind of content a sub to the channel would be absolutely marvelous it's just gone 6 a.m so traffic should be very very light so let's get on our way
are back at our starting point and it's time to continue the journey as we find extra miles while we have the battery range. So let's have a look at the final numbers and the conclusion today's test. So we finished with 2% battery, 4 miles of range remaining and we've done 156.5 miles, 252 kilometres at 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour. Total power usage was 48 kilowatt hours, time taken 2 hours and 27 minutes. And we go to the trip meter data and as we can see here both sets of data match from the start of today's drive and also from the last charge and a cost today of £2.40 based on my Octopus Go tariff at 5 pence per kilowatt hour. So what's the total range on 100% battery? We're probably looking based on 3.2 miles per kilowatt at 160 miles or 257 kilometres. So we'd never reached the WLTP claim of 218 miles based on today's test. But what percentage did we achieve? So what's your thoughts? Did you think this was a good range? Was this acceptable? Or do you think the car should have delivered more? Now ideally I'd love to have been much higher than this. But have a look at this table and I'll explain why I think this was actually a good outcome. So on the left hand side we've got MG's official figures courtesy of the WLTP test and on to the right we've got a table which I've created which is based on mixed driving from real world ranged in October and November this year. And to the right of that again we have another table which is based on today's 70 mile an hour motorway test and if you compare the two sets of figures there's only about an 11% difference, which I think is a good trade-off if you're doing 70 mile an hour. I have no doubt at all that in the summer months we will hit the same figures as the WLTP, but we'll see closer to the time. And if you're wondering what the highlighted cells are, these highlight battery percentage targets to reach milestone distances. It's a handy guide if you want to work out your range without all the math. So my final conclusion based on everything we've learned today. In terms of the test, I don't think we could have made today's journey any more efficient. I'd probably even go as far as saying next time we should have at least the air conditioning on one. But I think the figures were generally pretty good today. I will expect to see them drop 
a little bit more as we get into colder temperatures. But I think for general mixed driving, which I think most people will do with this vehicle, being able to charge to 100% every day with the LFP battery is both reassuring and will make journeys very easy to manage. Along with a good charging time, I think this car will be perfect for most people. And charging stops wouldn't be too dissimilar from the long range. As far as the ride was concerned, it sat comfortably at 70 miles an hour. Very, very little wind noise, very, very little tyre noise. It was comfortable, it was planted, and I'd very happily go on more road trips like this one again in the future. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you like what we're doing here, and also you want to support my upcoming videos. Thanks again, have a great day and see you in the next one.